Hello guys, this is just my 75 gallon tank, just wanted to make an update, as you can see, I've added fish, and I've uh, took out some fish, I took out my convict, and my chocolate cichlid, um, you know, they're big, I just wanted to trade them, nothing wrong with them, it's just that, you know, most of these fish are going to go up for trade anyway, so... Not this guy. This guy. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, this guy's not gonna be trading. But I have my frontosa still, and some of the new fish I got were a bunch of these catfish that hide in this decoration right here. Um, let's see. I've gotten this Aquadens diadema, which are like in the family of like electric blue acara so they're in like an acara family so those are pretty sweet he's kind of shy because like when i first let him in he's like four or five inches same as the frontosa but he's like pretty shy he's eating that's all i'm worrying about but yeah he's pretty shy but i haven't seen I mean, I've seen it once, and that's why, like, in another person's tank. And that's why I wanted to buy it. But, yeah, those are pretty cool. I also, I did not buy this fish. But one of my fish in the 125 was pregnant. And, you know, I just let nature take its course. And then, you know, um, pretty much all the other fish, well, babies were dead. So... This one is the only survivor, so I just put him in that breeder box to let him grow. He's like, I don't know. I just got him a week ago from the 125. Got pretty lucky with the catch, because some of the other fish were trying to eat him while I was trying to catch him. Has happened before, and I tried to catch him. Like this guy, he is a little fat. I don't know why. Just eats a bunch of food. But he was another fish that I caught. A white tail ACI in the tank, so you know, I get a free fish every now and then. Uh, next time I find um, this is an exasperatus that's a mother. I don't know who the father is, but I'll probably know in a short time. Um, I don't know why it's, it doesn't have exasperatus colors, but you know, that's okay. Um, it has like a black dot on its surface, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it about that guy. Um, all these fish are growing pretty nicely. Oh, also I got this fish. The reason why I got this fish was like, um, looks like a Dalmatian. And, you know, you see OBs like white and, I mean, orange and black or orange, white and black, but you know, I never seen like a white and black OB. That's pretty cool. This guy is starting to color up, finally. Um, cause like I took out the chocolate cichlid. So, yeah, now he can color up more. Uh, I got my bristle nose. He's keeping this tank on the inside glass pretty clean. The outside glass is just me being lazy, not cleaning it. So sorry about that. Uh, this Kenny, I, I got a new Kenny. Um, it's pretty cool, it's kind of aggressive, so I might put him in my 125. Not sure yet what to do with him. Also got this Venustus. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. He's gr he's growing pretty big. He was really tiny. Um, let's see, this Firemouth. I don't think this Firemouth's gonna go to my 125. I'll probably just trade him. That's pretty much how I got both these fish. I got both these fish technically for free. Because I just traded off my other fish. So that's pretty much what I want to do with this tank. Just like grow up fish and then trade them for different types of fish. You know. This guy is going to be nice. Um, these, I got a uh, Synodontus Nigraventor for the catfish that I was talking about. I got three of them for like... Four dollars, so it was a pretty good deal. So I couldn't, you know, couldn't leave this guy alone. But you know, he still stays there, even though like he can just live in here for the most part. 
Uh, I'm this. I was gonna put a power head on this tank, and that was gonna be like, like that was just gonna circulate this tank pretty good. But um, this thing keeps on moving the breeder box, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, oh, you see that? There it is. Wait. Okay. Man, this camera really needs to focus. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I'm so close to burning out. But I'll probably do like a species video on them. You know. Um, <clears throat> so that's what's going on with this tank. Uh, I still have this uh, marine land filter. I really hate it. Just, as you can hear the noise. I'll just pause. Hear that noise? It's pretty annoying. I hate it. I, I'm probably gonna, I bought another filter for my 125. That's gonna be a video to come. And um, probably in the next few days or something. Uh, let's see, these fish are all growing really well. Uh, I have lost one fish, like in my 125, as I'll go to it. 125 looking good so the fish i was talking about that i lost i lost my lemon jake poor guy he was like i don't know he had like something on his gills you know like i don't know something on his gills and then like and he died shortly after it's nothing that i've seen before um it's pretty quick like he had like some scratches on his gills and that's it uh yeah i'm seriously contemplating on like taking out this driftwood that would probably move, get like a bunch of open space and you know this catfish loves this driftwood like I don't know what his problem is with it but like he gets super like I already tried it before and he gets like super sad and like hangs out in a corner and then I feel really bad for him so then I just put the driftwood back in so you know I'll probably take this driftwood out and then move this catfish to the 75 I'll lose a cleaner, I'll lose a cleaner fish, but, you know, I can probably add the same catfish, like, just another catfish of this type, or, you know, I'll try out some other, like, a different type of cleaner that can handle it, but these are perfect cleaners for an African cyclone tank, I love these guys, uh, there's pretty much nothing much going on, I got a filter, new filter, an Eheim filter. Paid four hundred dollars for it. It's probably the most I've ever well spent on a filter, but it's one of the biggest and the best. So that will be coming in a later video. Uh this is pretty much it. Um yeah I had one loss. Pretty sad because I actually like that one in Jake. Um where did my dolphin go? Oh, the dolphin is like super shy, I don't know why, he's like, I don't know if you can see him, but like, I don't think you can, but he's like hiding behind the driftwood, just another fish that loves the driftwood, but you know, hopefully he'll probably start coming out more often, if he does, but yeah, this thing's going nicely, except for that dead fish, but it's cool, I'm fish. Okay, I guess this is the end.